And of course, we've been talking a lot recently about uh, different platforms that you can use using social media. It's really important to choose your real estate and, and not only just choose them wisely based on where are your followers, where's your audience at, go there. But also understanding the the psychology behind these different platforms. And as you can see here, we try to outline some of these platforms that you can utilize uh, to your benefit. Not only to identify great new tools, the effective tools that are out there today, but also to reach people in different ways. Uh, to tap into do different senses. I call it sensory atmospherics. Um, by you know whether people like to, to to read things, to see things, to hear things, and I think it's very important to, to consider these differences when you're developing a messaging strategy. Uh, it's one way to really stand out. Of course, you can see here Facebook is for those you already know, Twitter for those you want to get to know, YouTube for those you want to show what you know, Audio Boo for those you want to hear what you know. Great tool where you can record up to a five minute podcast and have it posted to your Facebook wall, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, blog, whatever, wherever you like to send it. Uh, I like that because when you post it to Facebook, you can just hit play and listen to it without going to another page. Uh, WordPress, Blogger, Tumblr, different blogging uh, platforms for those you want to read what you know. And of course, Flickr for those you want to see what you know. Um, I think it's really important to be able to understand not only the platforms that you're using, but also the way in which you're using them. Uh, take Facebook, for instance. On average, uh, the typical user on Facebook likes 80 pages, uh, brand pages, group pages, company pages, organization pages, 80 of them. That's a lot to fill up your news feed. So how are you going to stand out amongst those other 79? Uh, one way to do that is by filling your newsfeed up with interesting content that's delivered uh, to tap into the different senses that we have as human beings. So understand where your audience is and go there. Uh, and then tap into their senses and be unique, create fresh content, and I think you'll have a greater potential of standing out. Those are just a couple tools and ideas for choosing your real estate.